Hey Tribe! Hey Tribe! Welcome back to another episode of A Mill and Brit. Okay. <laughs> so today, you guys, um, we wanted to just bring you a little bit of insight about commune life and how things have been going with us. We are actually leaving here in a couple of days, and so we wanted to try and get a little bit of footage of you for you guys before we head out. So today, I wanted to cover the subject of how we eat at the commune. It is about lunchtime here, um, and so we are headed to do that now, and we thought we'd bring you along. All right, so let's go. All right, so the kitchen here is an outdoor kitchen. It's located at the bottom of the hill. We call it the downstairs area. Um, it has a large pantry storage area, um, and it also has a large dining room area with a large massive table, as well as a place uh, for cooking. We have a stove, a griddle top, um, and a oven. All of that is powered via wood. All right, so the kitchen is like the central part of the commune. It is like the heart where everyone kind of hangs out and gathers. It's where we make our relations and our bonds, mostly outside of being in the garden um, and planting. But here, this is where we come together as a family, for sure, like one huge hippie family. Um, and so we spend a lot of our time down here, especially with trying to feed three kids. Uh, every one of them has a different appetite. Uh, we try to feed everyone uh, per meal when cooking and anyone is welcome to come and cook in the kitchen. Um, and everyone is expected to come and join in the celebration and the festivities of each meal. So we're here in the kitchen now. This is like the dish pit slash breezeway area. Um, over to the right uh, is the pantry stove cooking area. And then to the left is the fire pit and then the dining table. Um, yeah, this place holds a lot of people. And this place is not just for eating. It really is for coming together, playing games. We have our council meetings down here often where the community comes together and we decide and vote on different actions in the community. Um, and so it's a really busy place. Definitely, I'd say, the heart of the commune. Well, I'm so glad that you love pizza because there's like 20 of them. There he is. And they were all frozen when we got them. They're still frozen. And we left a ton of them. Oh my God. Bring us so many. Look, we're having salsa tonight, avocados. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for bringing all of that. Function of my hand. Right. It would have been very bad. Um, and I also want to point out that they did exactly what I said they were going to do. Mm -hmm. Wow, can you take this piece off? Yeah. I'm, I was in those offices. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you need to be saved. Mama. We've got burrito meat. Let's so we're got burritos. Me. My name is Philip, and this community kitchen here is like eating out at a restaurant every night. And um, this morning we made oatmeal, and uh, it was blueberry, strawberry, uh, banana, and that's it. And it was great. It was just uh, oatmeal and that. And uh, I made it. It was great. Yeah, you made the oatmeal this morning? <laughs> Yep. Oh, thank you. It was really yummy. Can you tell me a little bit about how the kitchen works? Yeah. Um, so we call people for coffee, food, and counsel with this horn over here. First toot is horn, is uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. The second one is food. And the third one is counsel. Um, it's a uh, wrap. Today is a third <laughs> Well, welcome to the Garden Community Kitchen. What's your name? Um, one of my oh, my name's uh, my name's uh, Adam, aka Mantis, aka Vaxes, aka To Be Determined, aka uh, we're just gonna ride this thing out until all get out. And uh, I mean, all get out. Everybody, get out. All right, here we are at the garden. And uh, somebody just just brewed up some soup. I don't even. I've never made soup, but I enjoy soup. It's got to be better than Campbell's. And what do you and, uh, like to do in the kitchen? Uh, well, doing dishes is a safe thing. You know, it makes it look like you're on your P's and Q's. It's a way to, uh, like, get your thoughts in order before you head up to the other side and start really putting in the work. So you come out here and, like, keeping up appearances. Yes. So, so they say. And, uh... Food. Yeah. Awesome. All right, thanks, Adam. <laughs> Adam, I love being of service, going where I'm most needed, and I feel that like the dish station is what is most needed at this time, and so I love to be here, especially because not everybody likes to eat the dishes, so. We love for being here. And I love just making people feel joy, and that brings me joy, so I'll clean dishes for everyone. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm Rel. Um, the community kitchen is the heart of our community. It's where we all cook for each other and eat together and appreciate each other and we grow all the food and bring it down here and enjoy it together. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like to play with your friends? And play tricks on people? Um, I like to do the light. All day I like to do eat pizza, <laughs> sweet pizza, I mean cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Cheese pizza all kind of good. And That's what I like. Hey, Mom. And I also like pepperoni pizza. That's also what I like to eat. I like yeah, I pizza, know you like not the only cheese. 
So there are four ways that we acquire food here. Um, the first is that we just go to the store and we buy it if needed. Um, a lot of times people have ideas about what meals they do uh, want to cook for the community. And sometimes we might not have all the ingredients, so we'll just go to the store and get what's necessary. Um, especially when feeding a large group of people, 40 to 50 people, you may not have everything you need and it's just easier to buy it. Um, we also accept donations from the local community around us. Um, this place has a really good standing with the local town people and townsmen here and a lot of people look out for us. Uh, they bring us food items and clothing and wood and all kinds of things to help take care of us. Another really common way for us to get food is to go into the dumpsters behind grocery stores and other retail stores and find the food that they've thrown out. Most of the time we find food that ranges from fresh produce to frozen pizzas to donuts and bread and bagels. I mean, all kinds of stuff that people throw away that isn't really bad necessarily, but it's just past that date and they have to get rid of it. And so a lot of times we send people on runs that we call dumpster runs and they're going to find the food that the grocery stores have thrown in the trash rather than giving it to people. Yes, and then the last way, of course, you guys know that we obtain food is just by growing it ourselves. Um, we are at a place and it's called The Garden, um, and they really pride themselves on uh, growing- By ourselves. Um, well, yeah, we really pride ourselves on growing food um, and trying to become more sustainable. So everyone that comes to the garden is welcome to plant whatever they want to eat or are interested in. Um, we have everything from potatoes to squash to um, herbs um, to thing, plants that are used for medicinal purposes. Um, pretty much we grow a wide range of things. Plus there are a lot of wild things that we're able to forage. Um, Mushrooms and wild lettuce and onions and all kinds of good stuff. Really, this place is an abundance, uh, has an abundance of food. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as the water goes, we have two sources of water. We have rainwater, um, which there are rainwater collection containers all around the property that we use for washing clothes or uh, rinsing things out or even watering the gardens. And then we have well water that's used primarily for washing our dishes um, and uh, drinking. Right. Oh, also cooking. Yeah, we use that water for cooking as well. Cooking here at the garden is a community task. So no one person has been devoted to the kitchen. Rather, all of us kind of take turns cooking and cleaning in the kitchen. It really helps promote the whole sense of community, family, and love. Uh, it really makes sure that we have a diverse palate and that every time we eat, it's kind of a toss up. We never really know what's going to be made. Um, once you're done eating, everyone is responsible for washing and cleaning their dish and putting it away. Um, that's how we keep down on the dishes. Um, everyone pitches in on the kitchen dishes that are created when cooking. Um, and everyone pitches in on the upkeep of the kitchen, whether that's putting food away, uh, maintaining the dishes, <laughs> or cleaning the dining room, or decluttering, or whatever the case may be there's so many things that you can do down here in the community kitchen and I really feel like because there's so many different jobs and because there's so many moving parts it definitely creates a sense of community here um, and it helps to encourage community when we're out and we're gardening and doing other tasks like building um, or doing the crappy jobs like shoveling poo or manure. <laughs> it really helps to keep up the morale to know that you can come and sit down with your family and have a nice, wholesome, really healthy bite to eat. Yeah. All right, guys, I think that's about it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have not had a chance, please go below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like Hit that I little bell, guys. Hit that little bell because it'll tell you every time we upload a video, which is not all that often because we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier in the video, we are getting ready to leave out in the next week and a half. And we are headed to... <laughs> we're headed to Colorado um, and then we are hoping that the Rainbow National Gathering is still happening and we're hoping to attend that for the first time ever in Idaho, in Idaho. at the end of June <laughs> after the Rainbow Gathering in Idaho at the end of June we hope to shoot over to 
California, California, which has always been like a really big goal of mine. It's actually where he's from. But anyway, you guys, don't forget to stay tuned. We plan to bring you along in all of our crazy journey journeys and travels, which I'm sure is going to make for some amazing entertainment yep. on your behalf. You guys are going to meet some new <laughs> people, see some new things. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Stay hippie, my friends. Find your happiness. Strip away all the rest. Out here. Food. That's happiness. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you. We love you. Peace. Peace. Hey, say bye. Bye. Sunshine is a blessing when it's on my skin. Shines in the place and people saying I love you with its golden grin. Each day is a lesson on how to make a man with what you are given and how to be grateful when the cycle around.